Right now we're at the e-highway facility at the electric road E16 outside Sandviken in Sweden. Uh, this is a project aimed at uh, finding new ways of running fossil-free heavy transportation. Right now we've built two kilometers of uh, electric highway and we have two trucks running with everyday cargo from everyday customer to everyday customer. It's a catenary system that uses a pantograph that is mounted on a heavy truck with an electric drivetrain. In this case, two hybrid trucks from Scania that can be dynamically charged when running on the E16 highway. The truck can seamlessly go from electric powertrain to a diesel engine. The battery powered truck is the foundation for all electricity. All, all trucks that are electrically powered need a battery. This is probably a way to decrease the battery size in, in different perspectives or to charge a battery truck when going on a public highway so you don't have to stop to charge it. You just use any electric drive truck and then you put a pantograph that, that connects uh, electricity from overhead lines just like a tram or a trolley bus but it can do it in full speed along the highway and it stays at the power lines uh, by sensors and, and different technological solutions. This is basically 120 years old technology, but the two parts that have been missing is the hybrid technology for the trucks that make them seamlessly go from one drive to another. And it's the sensors that makes this pantograph find and stay at the power lines, regardless of what way you turn with the truck, basically. They're not beautiful, these poles, but uh, and we're aware of that. We've always seen that as one of the big threats, the ugly factor. But uh, a lot of people think they look nice as well. So. We could have built a longer stretch of road practically, but we wanted to try in a smaller scale first to see if it's a good idea. We uh, are going to run this project for at least this year. And then we want to build another stretch of road that's a bit longer to try the whole system, the whole business system and the whole business model, who owns what and so on. Uh, and we want to do that maybe 2020 till 2022. And then I think we'll have all the knowledge we need that will enable us to decide how this is going to be implemented in a larger scale. The cost per kilometer to build this is about 2 million euros per kilometer, uh, going in both directions. But uh, we're not actually sure how much you need to electrify, because you can run on battery between different stretches of road. But where you have the system up, it's about 2 million euros per kilometer, both ways. We want to prove that it can be built, this electric highway, on a public road, uh, legally, practically, from a maintenance perspective and as, uh, for a safety perspective. We want to show that it works in, in everyday use. Now we have one project in Los Angeles, three in Germany. We have a couple of projects in Sweden, at least, looking into different, different uh, ways of using electric highway technology. It's one of the parts that can really solve the fossil-free heavy transportation for the future. It's not the only part, but it's one of, one of the technologies that, that can be an important uh, part of the, the overall solution in the future.